Hey everyone, Tony here and today I want to talk about a quick lesson uh, on this amazing thing. So, you know, everyone always says that the stock market is completely random, it's irrational, and you can't predict what's going to happen next. Well, it may be true that you can't exactly predict what's going to happen next. Um, it definitely is not random. There are patterns in the market every single day. And I have an amazing example for you here on ELTK. So this is what I talked about in my last video lesson. Uh, ELTK was the main subject. Today, it spiked up again. And frankly, it did the same exact pattern as it did yesterday. So you could have just looked at yesterday's chart, saw what it did, copied, you know, like your entry over to today, and you would have made like 200%. So let's get into this lesson. All right, so this is gonna be a quicker video lesson. Like I said, I'm gonna make this pretty brief because uh, I just wanna talk about ELTK and the importance of you know studying the charts, studying the past movements to try and better understand future movements, all right? So ELTK, um, some of you guys who are already experts with charts can probably see what I'm talking about but uh you know these these two moves from yesterday and today they started out the same exact way so let's just go in here let's break down yesterday first all right so yesterday um eltk popped up in pre-market had resistance at around 326 and you can see market open and initially it pulled back it had a ton of selling pull it down right but then you can see we caught support just on this pre-market support at around 265s, right? It holds that support for like 10 minutes. And then once you get the uptick in volume, that would be your signal to go long, risking the break of the lows. So you're risking about, you know, 15 cents a share to make at least, you know, 20, 30 cents a share. At least if you go for the breakout, you know, like this one went from threes to seven in one single push. So when you have these more uh, volatile stocks, these ones with more range, like for example, if we look at this pre-market range right here, we can see that from bottom to top, this range is about 23%. So just in this range itself, you can make 23%. So of course you wouldn't want to sell for a 10% profit. It just wouldn't make sense. Right, but this video lesson is not about uh, the positioning or whatever. I talk about all of that inside my course and my mentorship program. This is just simply talking about, um, you know, s just looking back at the chart and, and trying to understand, you know, how you could play these in the future. So that's what happened on ELTK yesterday, right? It pulled back right at market open and then it found its support, it found strength, and it squeezed all the shorts out and did a massive rally. And notice how on every pullback, it was well above VWAP. And then right here, we made resistance at around $7. And it used the previous resistance at around uh, this price here. It used the previous resistance as overall support until it retested the highs again. Right? So keep that in mind. That is uh, ELTK yesterday on May 29th. So today... I mean, like, it's blatantly obvious it did the same exact thing, right? It had the market opened. It had lots of selling. Now, it didn't exactly catch the pre-market level of support here at 575. You can see that, you know, obviously it broke through that. But whenever you're playing these type of plays anyways, you don't want to just buy right when it hits that price because the stock is not uptrending, it is downtrending. So you have to wait until you see some signs of support holding. So we can see it had one quick drop, it consolidated, had an even bigger drop to new lows, but then it held support and it just uptrended towards that VWAP line. Once you see this big jump in volume, that's when you would go long or you can choose to wait until 
it retested VWAP as support and you could get in at VWAP risking the lows. Now, yes, you would have a bigger risk, but because this chart is so volatile, I mean, like if the support's here at 550s, you can aim for at least, at least $8 because that's where the resistance is, right? The main resistance is $8. And if you're going to get in that support, you need to sell at the resistance. All right. So with that being said, we can see, you know, what happened. It spiked up. It held VWAP. And let me just go back to here. On yesterday, what happened here? It spiked up and it held VWAP. And then we can see it spiked up and it halted. Out of the halt, it was very volatile, but overall it held above VWAP, right? What happened today? Let's see. We can see it spiked up, held VWAP, spiked higher, and then halted. Outside of the halt, yes, it was very volatile, but overall it held the VWAP, and then it squeezed higher. After that, we can see that it held support uh, all day, pretty much, off the previous high of day, 850s. So once again, it had that main level of resistance that was now support, and you could have just played this range from 860s to 11s and just traded the hell out of this. Right, but then once you see this big sign, which I talk about in my mentorship, uh, this is when you want to get out and no longer trade the bounces. All right, so like I said, it's going to be a quicker video on ELTK. Just wanted to break down the kind of best tactics um, when it comes to identifying the chart and and just you have to kind of build up that. That way of reading a chart in terms of, you know, what traders are doing and what the psychology is. Because I can tell you right now, the reason why this squeezed so hard is because once we had this kind of uh, the fake breakout over these highs of 313, number one, lots of people went long on that. Lots of people who chased breakouts. And number two, lots of shorts who are risking off the highs are going to be shorting into that level. And then it slams below VWAP. And then you have all of the longs who are selling for a loss. And then all of the shorts who are adding into their position because this is the start of an all day fader, right? But then it catches a very strong level of support. And generally, if you are a person who is going short on a move like this, you're going to choose to cover if it can break over VWAP because breaking over VWAP is a sign that it can squeeze higher, right? Everything about trading is all about psychology. What is the long side of the trade doing and what is the short side of the trade doing? So you have to understand this psychology part of it. You have to be able to make the connection uh, between, you know, how traders are acting and why they are acting a certain way. And you have to uh, be able to correlate that with the support and resistance levels because everything about trading is all psychology. We're all essentially playing against each other. And if you can kind of understand and think ahead of the other traders, then you can become the most profitable. I'm assuming that if you stuck around all this time, you must have really enjoyed that video lesson. If you want to continue your learning with me, I just opened up a free trading workshop. You can register completely for free, no strings attached, and you're going to get access to three training videos that break down exactly the secrets that no one is telling you about how to trade profitably. And I'm also going to be giving you access to my top PDFs. Number one, my free book, How to Day Trade Every Single Morning. Number two, my personal trading checklist. Let me show you right here. This right here that I use every single day to plan my trades. And also, I will give you a list of the top 10 most profitable trade strategies of 2019. So you can check all this out in the first link down below. And I really hope to see you in there. Keep in mind that I give out these workshops once a week. And there's only about 30 spots per week. So make sure you get in there now, click the link below, and I'll see you inside.